where state-of-the-art technology has arrived in science education. Here in the 8th grade classes of Mrs. Amy Lee, students are learning science with the help of a new tool, the microcomputer. Robo was the first junior high school in Washington with a microcomputer-based laboratory. Laboratories in other schools are based on Mrs. Lee's design. Computers help the students better understand basic scientific concepts by taking away blocks that prevent them from learning these concepts. Blocks such as dealing with numerous calculations, hand drawing graphs, and learning scientific principles strictly through lectures without being able to see them in action. In an MBL, computers do the calculations for the students, draw their graphs, and allow them to see the concepts they're studying happen before their eyes. One concept being studied is heat conduction. The experiment involves filling two cups with water, one with hot water and one with cold. Probes connected to the computer are inserted in the cups. The cups are connected by a metal bar. The computer then graphs the change in temperature of the two cups. By studying the graph, the students determine the amount of heat lost by the hot water and gained by the cold water. Then comes the most important part of the experiment. Putting your name on it. students are studying sound. The computer allows them to see the actual waves of sounds they make. The first step is to find a good sound. <laughs> After a sound has been selected, it's captured. Then its frequency and amplitude are determined. Another sound is captured, and the two are compared. Go. The students also play a game called slalom. However, this isn't just a game. The object is to maneuver a line through a course by changing the temperature of the probe connected to the computer. While the students certainly enjoy playing, they're still learning basic principles of temperature. There are many distinct advantages to MBLs. Mrs. Lee has found three that clearly stand out. Students can work at their own pace. Since students do their own experiments, they can go at a rate with which they're comfortable, without feeling pressure to keep up with their classmates. The experiments are quick and simple to set up. This enables the students to easily redo them. They get a firmer grasp of what they're studying and set higher standards for their science work. Students are encouraged to develop and run their own experiments. In fact, some of Mrs. Lee's students have entered MBL experiments in the city science fair. Mrs. Lee and Rabot Junior High have found the microcomputer-based laboratory an invaluable science tool. MBL, taking science education into the 21st century.